Hey guys, how's it going? Um, making a video again. Going to record uh, reading Proverbs chapter 20 and talking about those verses as I go through them, anything that comes to my mind. And uh, I just want to say that I'm really happy because I finally got around to getting the time to fixing up some things for recording again. And uh, wow. So I have two computers mostly. Um, little netbooks too I guess but like the one behind me there that was my that's my audio recording station but anyway I have one in my bedroom one in here and I had like editing software like two of them for one for each computer and I was going to record on both computers to have like a variety of location and just for different reasons different things to do on different computers <clears throat> anyway in my bedroom I was going to do like the green screen recording and um, I tried to record a video reading a chapter of Proverbs a while back and when I did um, the audio and the video wasn't in sync and it really made me angry and depressed because it was a long video and I was like okay you know I'm, I'm done for the night and I kind of never got around to it again I think because when I record a video, I always record a sample and check to see if the sound is working for it. You know, I'll just record a sample and then I'll play it and I'm like, okay, everything seems like it's going good, so now I'm going to go full bore and make a video. Um, but then it's not until, you know, the video is finalized and then I go back and I watch it again and, you know, when it's a longer video and then I realize, okay, it's not syncing up. I'm like, oh man. So I'm not going to upload that. <laughs> and So I guess the video quality I had set for 720, I guess I was going for the highest video quality, and I think that's the reason, is that the computer is just not good enough for that or whatever. So I lowered the video quality, and it seems like that synced up. Now, that's the computer in the bedroom that I was going to do the green screens with, and this is the computer in my study, my office room and uh, my laundry room, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but this one, this computer, I had like a different <clears throat> recording software. And when I recorded a video, the format that it makes it, it would not work in the editor. So I couldn't edit video. I couldn't add an intro or music or whatever I wanted to do or even use the green screen on this one. So that's kind of why that was going to be in that room. But I was doing a little bit of searching today for some different camera software, and I didn't realize that Windows just has a generic camera software. I never really thought about that. I thought about the camera software that comes with the camera. You know, That's for Logitech. And so I just type in the little search bar on the taskbar um, on the computer, this camera and it just pops up and I was like okay well let me try this let me see you know if the audio and video syncs in this how this records and if this will work in the editor and it does work in the editor so that's awesome now the Logitech software that I have I've used sometimes to where I can make like dual windows and stuff and that's cool um, but I don't I can't do that with this but uh, I'll have to experiment with more things but I've made a lot of progress with that I just haven't had the time to really mess around with all that I've always got stuff to do, you know, work, and then on my days off, <clears throat> you know, I want to relax or I want to enjoy things, or there's just more stuff that I have to do. And uh, I've got my website up on the other window, so I want to start staying on top of this, try to record more. I think it'd be cool to record in the morning or something and have it upload while I'm at work. But we'll see what will happen. But I want to try to, I'm going to try, and I always say this, and I'm going to try to get more active, but I think that I've made some progress here. I've still got some boxes of things in my vehicle since I moved that I haven't brought in. And hopefully I'll do that later today. Right now my vehicle is at the mechanic. And that's been an ongoing thing to where there's always something I have to take it to the mechanic for on my days off. You know, or I have to go shopping. I've got I've got laundry and the dryer that needs to be put away. I've got dishes in the sink you can see behind me that need washed. I've got grocery or trash in the trash can that needs to be taken out. I've got you know, like I said, boxes in my vehicle that need to be brought in <clears throat> from since when I moved. I've got lots of stuff to do, but I've, I've been making more progress over time, and 
in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to have two days off in a row, and that's going to be a great help. And hopefully, I'm not going to have to do a whole lot on those days, so I can just focus on studying and recording. But I just want to continue through Proverbs, and um, like I said, I can edit videos in here. This isn't going to be an edited one, though. I'm just going to record this and upload it, but for... In the future, you know, I'm going to get around to doing that, and I'm going to take some of my intro files that I wanted to use and stuff and put them on the computer and get everything situated to where I can much easier quickly do that. <clears throat> so let's do Proverbs chapter 20. Verse 1 says, Wine is a mocker, strong drink is raging, and whosoever is deceived thereby is not wise. So that's a pretty strong... Um, verse against alcohol or alcoholism but yet we see that at the wedding jesus turned water into wine and we see some positive things here and there maybe talking about drinking wine but it definitely can have a down effect too um <clears throat> and when you think strong drink is raging it makes you think of somebody who's drunk who goes into a rage um but you know, our wine is a mocker. Does that mean alcohol, you know, makes fun of the person who abuses it, in a sense? Is it kind of uh, giving, like, a personality to wine? Whosoever deceives deceive thereby is not wise. Yeah, I'm going to try to rush through these because I want to make it kind of a quick video, and I'd like to upload more today. But like I said, I've also got chores to do, and so... I can do a little recording and bounce back and forth. The fear of the ki of a king is as the roaring of a lion, who so provoketh him to anger, sinneth against his own soul. So, you know, it's like saying, don't make those in authority above you, a king or even God, you know, angry against you because you're just harming yourself in that, <laughs> that situation. It is an honor for a man to cease from strife, but every fool will be meddling. And so, it's an honor for a man to keep his cool, you know, in a stressful situation, instead of lashing out like a fool would. The sluggard will not plow by reason of the cold, therefore shall he beg and harvest and have nothing. So the slugger, the slugger doesn't want to work in, in rough situations, and uh, you know it's just like people that want to call into work or not show up all the time or or, or quit and then complain about you know not having money or whatever. Uh, so, counsel in the heart of a man is like deep water, but a man of understanding will draw it out. And that's a very interesting counsel is like a deep water in the heart of a man most men will proclaim every one his own goodness but a faithful man who can find I'm reading from my personal Bible and what I've read from um, <coughs> Over there, when I'm doing the audio recordings, I'm reading from this giant King James Bible, like one of those old ones. And um, you see, I just wanted to show again, I've shown it a lot, but I highlighted it a long time ago, um, years ago, I highlighted this. And it looks like every time there's a question asked, I highlighted it in yellow, in Proverbs, and I've, I highlighted whenever he says knowledge or understanding a lot, uh, when he says money. I don't know what the orange is here. Take his garment that is surety for a stranger and take a pledge of him for a strange woman. Okay, every strange woman verse because there's a lot of them. I guess um, I did those in orange. The, yeah, the money ones I did in green. <clears throat> so that's just interesting. But So this one was a question, so I, I highlighted it in yellow. It said, most men will proclaim every one his own goodness, but a faithful man who can find. So most people are selfish or self-centered. They'll brag about themselves. 
But, you know, basically a, a true faithful person is more of a rarity, I guess. The just man walketh in his integrity. And I hope that this is recording all right with the audio. I know I probably need to speak up a little louder or be closer, but... The just man walketh in his integrity. His children are blessed after him. And it's probably not good just to see me looking down the whole time while I'm reading. I'm not thinking about it. I'm actually recording this video. So I'll read again. The just man walketh in his integrity. His children are blessed after him. Okay, so it's talking about how, you know, being righteous can be a blessing to your offspring and your family. The king that sitteth in the throne of judgment scattereth away all evil with his eyes. <clears throat> Who can say, I have made my heart clean, I am pure from my sin? Hmm. Interesting. Divers weights and divers measures, both of them are alike. Are like abom are alike abomination to the Lord. Different weights and different measures. So not being not being steady, I guess, not being straight. Everything needs to be fair, just. Um, even a child is known by his doings whether his work be pure and whether it be right. The hearing ear and the seeing eye of the Lord hath made even both of them. Love not sleep lest thou come to poverty. Open thine eyes and thou shalt be satisfied with bread. It is not, it is not, saith the buyer, but when he has gone his way, then he boasteth. Hmm, I don't really understand that one. There is gold and a multitude of rubies, but the lips of knowledge are a precious, precious jewel. Again, saying that uh, there are things that are greater than material wealth. Take his garment that is surety for a stranger, and take a pledge of him for a strange woman. Another verse I'd like to look into. <laughs> Bread of deceit is sweet to a man, but afterwards his mouth shall be filled with gravel. That doesn't sound good. Every purpose is established by counsel, and with good advice make war. He that goeth about as a talebearer revealeth secrets. Therefore meddle not with him that flattereth his lips. Whoso curseth his father or mother, his lamp shall be put out in obscure darkness. An inheritance may be gotten hastily at the beginning, but the end thereof shall not be blessed. That makes me think of what is it like Jacob and Esau? Or <clears throat> maybe... Uh, probably not right <laughs> say not thou I will recompense evil but wait on the Lord and he shall save thee and I think what is that in Romans Romans 12 where it says you know vengeance is the Lord's he will repay that, that sounds very similar to that you know seek not revenge Divers' weights are abomination unto the Lord, and a false balance is not good. That's like an exact repeat of what was said earlier. <clears throat> Man's goings are of the Lord. How can man? How can a man then understand his own way? <clears throat> that just makes you think that we need the Lord's guidance and help to live. It's a snare to the man who devoureth that which is holy, and after vows to make inquiry. Hmm. Yeah, 
That's just like bringing destruction upon yourself. A wise king scattereth the wicked and bringeth the wheel over them. Now what does that mean, bringeth the wheel over them? The spirit of man is the candle of the Lord, searching all the inward parts of the belly. Mercy and truth preserve the king, and his throne is upholden by mercy. The glory of young men is their strength, and the beauty of old men is their gray head. And I read that earlier in Proverbs. I don't remember exactly how it was worded. <clears throat> it had a strange word or whatever that I had to look up that meant gray hair, basically, was a, uh, you know, a prideful thing, an honor. The glory of young men is their strength, the beauty of old men is their gray head. The blueness of a wound cleanseth away evil, so do stripes <clears throat> the inward parts of the belly. Okay. So is that saying that some kind of a punishment is like a reformation to <laughs> learn not to do evil? I don't know. Um, so i got to look into these things a lot more, and that's what this is all about for me, just making my way slowly all the way to 31 and then just going over it and over it again until um, I have a good understanding of all of it. <clears throat> so, But and then I'm going to skip around, you know, when I get to 31. I'm not going to just read through it all again or something. But... Uh, I'll start going all over the place to verses that I wanted to look up more. So, that's going to be it. I'm going to upload this, and hopefully you'll be seeing more future, more videos more frequently. And I'll do a little bit of editing, see if I can make the videos better, and get better studies for whatever. So, whoops. <laughs> Sorry. All right, guys. God bless. Thanks.